In this video, we will show you how to assemble electrical components on printed circuit boards. The surface mounting area is equipped with the most high-tech equipment available. Capacity up to 1 million clusters per month. High accuracy of the component installation system. Installer accuracy, 30 microns. Quality control at all stages. 3D control of solder paste application. 3D inspection of the installation of components on printed circuit boards. Control of lighting parameters. Today, the company has two interchangeable surface mount lines and one line for small series and prototype assemblies. This way, we fully satisfy our needs in hardware, clusters and power supplies for lights as well as controllers. LEDs are supplied by the best manufacturers, in particular Cree, Nichia, and Samsung. LEDs made in Russia, including Rusid, are also used. This is where it all begins, with the issuance of components, or actually, even earlier. Engineers determine the configuration and create a specification of the LED module with the specified characteristics in the base. The dispatcher, in accordance with the production schedule, puts the assembly of these modules into operation. And after the shift assignment, the assembly worker prepares all the electronic components and PCBs, attaches the specification and gives it to the operator. While we won't go into detail about input quality control, it is certainly in place. Let's talk more about the process. Special QR codes are used to identify products. Labeling is done with a laser, and in cases where the technology does not allow it, the operator applies a special label. The special QR code contains all the necessary information, production date, shift number, which LEDs and bins were used. This helps in cases where, for example, the client needs to make a similar solution. After labeling, the board travels further down the line to the solder paste application equipment. This is a stencil printer that uses a different stencil for each PCB. Special 100 micron thick metal plates. Solder paste is transferred to the PCB through apertures, the holes in the stencil, which repeat the pattern and location of the contact pads. The paste provides a high quality connection of PCB components, forms a reliable solder joint, confirmed by thermal cycling and vibration tests. An essential stage is quality control. The control of solder paste application is controlled by a 3D optical inspection unit. A 3D model is built in real time. The volume, displacement, shape are analyzed and based on the uploaded data. The equipment evaluates the quality of the solder paste applied. If deviations are noticed, a signal is given to the operator, who evaluates the machine data and the actual result. The machine can detect up to 70 to 75% of all possible defects. If at this stage the solder paste is applied correctly, according to all requirements, then the soldering is very likely to be of good quality later on. After a successful check, the PCB goes further down the line and into the automatic component installer. This equipment installs electronic components on the PCB. The components in the ribbons are loaded into special feeders and arranged in the machine according to a pre-written program. Picking up a component, the equipment inspects its dimensions, contact pads, checks if there are deviations from the norm, rejects it if needed, and gives a signal to the operator that the component does not comply with the parameters set in it. The stated installation speed on these lines is approximately 80,000 components per hour. Now the components are in place and we move on to the last step. 
The circuit board is assembled, but not soldered together. This is the last possible control step before soldering. The operator checks that everything is assembled according to the specification and design. If everything appears to be correct, the operator places it into the oven. The oven's special double conveyor belt allows for the distribution of flows so that the boards don't stand idle. This is to offload a bottleneck, since it takes a long time for a long board to enter the oven. The oven is equipped with 13 zones with the optimal temperature profile for each board. Out of it comes the sealed and finished product, which can be installed in the lights. After soldering, the boards come out quite hot, especially the aluminum boards. In order to reduce the temperature before the inspection phase, a special buffer with a floor conditioner is used. In order to be 100% sure of the quality of our products, we have an additional control system. This is another machine that builds 3D models in real time of what is already on the printed circuit boards, inspecting each component, reading their labels, polarity, how straight a component is installed, and whether or not it is dislodged. The machine analyzes the quality of the soldering, and in case the board falls below the accuracy limits, it sends a signal to the operator. And that's not even the end of it. Another quality control system for LED clusters. On this equipment, we control namely the light characteristics of each cluster, so they are wired at low current beforehand so that the operator can make sure that everything works correctly. The equipment provides the means to evaluate all the important parameters of the LED cluster. Luminous flux, color temperature, color rendering index, all thanks to the spectrometer installed inside, as well as electrical parameters, voltage, current, and power. Control at all stages and implementation of lean production allows us to ensure the highest level of quality. Now that the product is ready, the LED clusters are sent to the main assembly. The drivers and controllers are not yet finished, as this was only their first stage. Later they will be mounted with output components, tested, programmed, primed, and tempered. But more about that in the next video.